Hello there, I am Ümit Alkoş. In this video, we will solve one problem in chapter 5. The strings in the figure are massless. The pulleys are frictionless and there is no friction between M2 and the surface. The numerical values are M1 equal to 1.1 kg, M2 equal to 2.2 kg, and M3 equal to 3.3 kilograms. A. Draw free body diagrams for each box. To draw the free body diagrams, first of all, we draw the coordinate axis for each box. Next, we represent masses by a big dot. If you notice, each mass sits at the original, their own coordinate system. After that, draw only forces on the body. First of all, we draw the weights of the objects or the gravitational force on the objects due to the gravity of the Earth. Secondly, we draw the normal force perpendicular to the surface if there is a contact with any surface. In our example, only M2 is in contact with the surface, so the normal force is drawn to be like this. Finally, since there are strings attached to the bodies, we have the tensional force like this. At this point, it is important to note that the tension, that is, the magnitude of the tensional force on the same string, is the same everywhere on the string. However, directions of the tensional force for each body have to be different. As the final step to draw the free body diagram, draw acceleration vector separately. That is, do not draw the acceleration vector on the body. Here, it is extremely important to choose the direction of the acceleration vector. According to our configuration, since the weight of M3 is greater than M1, then the motion is determined to be like this. Therefore, for mass M1, direction of the acceleration vector is upward. Next, mass M2 moves to the right. Finally, mass M3 moves downward. To sum up, as you see, we do not draw the acceleration vectors on the body, and we represent them by a green arrow, since the arrows for the forces have already been chosen to be blue. Ok, these are the free body diagrams for each box. In part B, we find the acceleration of each of the boxes. Ok, to solve this part, we need to write the equations of motion, that is, the Newton's second law F net equals m times a for each box. We take the direction of the acceleration vector as positive. Therefore, the net force on the y axis for mass m1 becomes T1 minus M1G, which is equal to M1 times A. As you notice, there is no motion along the x-axis for mass M1. Next, for mass M2, to write the equation of motion along the x-axis, we take the direction of the acceleration vector as positive. Therefore, the net force along the x-axis becomes T2 minus T1, and it is equal to M2 times A by the Newton's second law. Also, for the y-direction, since there is no motion along the y-axis, that is, Ay equals 0, the equation of motion is written to be N minus M2 G equals 0, then N is found to be M2 times G. 
Finally, for mass M3, we choose the direction of the acceleration vector as positive. Then the net force is written to be M3 times G minus D2, which is equal to M3 times A by the Newton's second law. After that, if we add these equations up side by side, we obtain M3 minus M1 times G equals M1 plus M2 plus M3 times A. From this equation, we get an expression for acceleration as with the corresponding numerical values, we obtain 3.2667 meters per second squared, or in three significant figures, it is approximately 3.27 meters per second squared. And this is the solution for part B. Finally, C. Calculate the tension in each string. From equation 1 in part B, we have T1 equals M1 times G plus A. If we put the corresponding numerical values into this equation, we obtain approximately 14.4 newtons. This is the tension on the string connecting M1 and M2. Finally, from equation 3, we have T2 equals M3 times G minus A. As a result, we obtain approximately 21.6 newtons. This is the tension on the string connecting M2 and M3. Okay, that's all about this problem. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.